Okay, so now we're starting on panel three. So this is the, the wide spine in between panel two and panel three. So I'm just gonna show you what we're going to be building. We have um, this little flip with a ribbon pole right here. This pulls out, we have this space for photos. And then we have another ribbon pole here so we know this folds out. And then we see another ribbon pole and this folds out. We have this space here. We have this middle space here with our pocket, just like um, in, in um, panel two. And then we have this flap with this space right here. And we are going to be putting in an envelope. I made this envelope with my envelope punch, but you can use any envelope to put it in here. So we're gonna get started. So let me put this away. So just like with panel two, you are going to be starting with a piece of, um, this, is, this is our craft card stock. If you have 85 pound craft, craft card stock, it's good to use that for this back piece. Everything else could be 65 pound. But if you don't have 85, 65 is, is, is fine. So you're going, this back pocket is going to be 12 inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. Now, just like with the other one, put it in the folio that you made and fit it, dry fit it. For whatever reason, I made this folio, I'm not sure why, it's like an eighth of an inch shorter than the one I built that I just showed you. So dry fit yours, make sure this fits in there. This side is is fine. This side, it is too, too short. So I am about this much. I put a little tick mark. That's where I have too much. So I am going to score this side at that little tick mark. So I ha will have this folded down correctly. So I'm going to put that in my scoreboard and make a score here. So I put it into my scoreboard and then just scored it like an eighth of an inch over. So this is, this flap is going to be one and an eighth inch. This flap is still one inch. So I put it back in and this will fit in this panel three part of my folio. So now I'm okay. I can put this away just an eighth of an inch off and it makes a big difference. So then what you're going to do, just like we did with the other one, you're going to put this in your envelope punch and I am going to find this score mark, this one inch score mark on this left side. I'm going to put this in and line this score mark with one and three quarters. Flip it over. This score line, the, the second one, not this one inch one, but the one and one eighth inch. That's where you're going to put this line, this score line in and have that at one and three quarters. Punch it. And then just cut that off. So now we have our, our cutout for our back envelope. For our back um, pocket. Next thing. 
So next you're going to cut a piece of craft cardstock. This is going to be the right inner flap, seven and a half inches tall by 11 inches wide. Put it in your scoreboard and you have the 11 inch side up. You're going to score it at a half an inch and a half an inch. You're going to score it at 10 and a half and 10. 10 and a half and 10. Fold those and burnish. And then on this right side, we are going to make, measure off a half an inch. I like this quilter's ruler just because I can line up my edge and then just draw a straight line. So that's a half an inch. This is gonna be a half an inch in. And what we're going to do with this piece, so we have this one folded, this one folded, so they're, and then you're gonna put these together. So you got these two half inch score lines. You're going to put them together like that. Here's one. You're gonna put them together and you're gonna miter these corners. You're gonna miter this corner and this corner. You'll see what we're gonna do. Let me get my scissors. I like to cut in from here. And from here. So it should look like that once you have it mitered. Okay, so what I do, I fold, here's the half inch here, fold, and then fold it again. Just fold it over itself. Put your score tape down here. And I'm just using my thinner score tape. I don't want to waste my wider score tape. So again, you have half inch, half inch, fold this half inch, fold it again. You got your score tape on the back side. This part, this score tape is going to be aligned with this half inch edge right here. You're just gonna align it there. Make sure everything is straight. Line up your bottom. Make sure that line is straight down here. That's straight, that's straight. Pull your score tape. If I can. So that flaps down. Now you're going to, that flaps down, but you have this this half inch flap is sticking up. Now with this flap that's sticking up, we're going to be using this flap for attaching an envelope. Here is the envelope I attached. So I made this with my envelope punch. This is basically a, a five by six card. So you would just find it here. Um, a five by six card right here so it tells you how to make it if you know how to make them but you don't have to do that if you just want to get an envelope and I'm just pulling one from my stash this is basically a five by six card it's, it's four and three quarters by six and a half so what you're going to do with that you, let me get this out of the way. Let's 
first you're going to kind of put this somewhere down here and you just figure out where you want the card. I usually like it down here so when it um, down here so when it opens it doesn't um, it doesn't hide this part. So you can put it anywhere you want on this flap. Once you decide where you want it, you're going to mark the flap. So I'm going to mark the flap here. And down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it in just a little bit inside of that line and then down here and this part you can just trim off we don't we don't need this part so I'm just gonna pull that off you are going to take your envelope if you already have an envelope you are just going to put it in the trimmer and trim off the edge of this bottom part. So I'm going to do that. So I cut off my, the bottom, trimmed off the bottom of my envelope, and then you just slip it over this little flap. Okay. Open this up. Slip it over, make sure it fits. You may need to trim yours a little bit more if it, if it's too tight. And that seems to fit. So what I'm going to do is just put some um, some score tape here and here, and then attach my envelope. You can use glue too; it doesn't doesn't matter. And then that's going to seal off this bottom, and now you're going to have an envelope. So let me just do that. So I just add, added some glue. I don't want to waste any more of my score tape. And slip this on. And have it lay down. And then press it into place. And now you have your envelope attached. Now for my closure on this one, I used a swing tab. I put a swing tab in here. Um, you could also use the button um, tie enclosures, whatever you wish. But I'm just going to leave that like this for now. So what you're going to do is, once again, make a um, half an inch, measure half an inch in on this back pa pocket panel, and you're going to draw a half an inch line. So we've got a half an inch space right here. So we're gonna be using that again. Uh, then you're going to cut a piece of craft card stock seven and a half inches tall by six inches wide, and you're going to score it at half an inch. Score it at a half an inch. Fold and burnish. Oops, got some tape on me. And you're going to put some score tape on this side, on this little flap. And what you're going to do is attach this to this edge right here. Now these should be the same height. I've got a little overhang here, so I probably didn't cut it right, but I can trim that off. Um, so if that happens to you, if, just trim it off. So I'm going to go ahead and put my score tape on and trim this, and I'll be right back. So this left inner flap is installed, and now you're going to get or at least I'm going to get my quilters 
ruler and make a half inch line here, guide line here. So there's my half, that doesn't look straight. <laughs> Is that straight? Let me see, no, it's not. Boy, <laughs> not straight. There. This inner one is the straight one. Okay. <laughs> My bad. So, anyway, so there's our half inch guideline. So, with this left outer flap, which is seven and a half inches tall and five and a half inches wide, you're going to score it half an inch on the side here, fold it, put your score tape. And you're going to align that with your half inch guideline right here and just pull the tape. I can, I put a really thin piece, so it's hard to pull. So I'm going to pull this tape, line it here, get your top edge straight, make sure the bottom is straight. Since yours is all craft cardstock, it won't be that noticeable if you're off a little bit. And burnish that down. So now you have this flap in. Oh my goodness. Before you put this down, if you are going to be using your paper punch, that scallop punch, the Martha Stewart punch, do that. Well, you can do it now too. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and punch this edge with my Martha Stewart punch, and I'll be right back. So I did my scallop punch. What a mess I made. Clean this up. And so got my scallop punch on this left outer flap. So now we're going to go back to this front right flap. So we are going to be applying a pocket to this edge. So you're going to be cutting a piece from your craft cardstock, four inches tall by four and three eighths inches wide. Put it in your scoreboard. Here's the four and three eighths four and three eighths side up, half an inch, score half an inch, turn it around, half, turn it, turn it half an inch, turn it one more time, half an inch. So then you're, those, you're going to fold and burnish these and miter them. So I cut, I um, scored mine, mitered the top and the corners here. So remember, I always put, and I've got to put my score tape on these sides, and I'm just using my thin score tape just because I don't want to waste it for this demo, my wider one. Okay, so you're going to align this with this edge right here and to the bottom. So that's where you're going to put it. So remember you always do your bottom um, part of the pocket first. So take that off. This is so thin it's hard to even grab. And then you're going to be putting, remember your scotch tape down here. And then you can pull your sides. And there's, we didn't do anything to the top part, the top edge of this pocket. So um, you can, but I didn't do anything to it. So there's our pocket. Now we need to take care of this flap. So now that everything is in, this is going to be an inner flap. So you have the option of you can just figure out where it needs to be cut. 
Where is my pencil? Here is the fold. So it has to be before that fold. So I am going to put it about right here. So I can either trim it here or I can um, score it and fold it and make a pocket on this inside. If you would like to do that, you can, I think. I don't think that's what I did on mine. Let me see. Uh, and no, but um, you could. I ended up making, trying to make a little tuck spot here. So you could, and you can cover it with that stripe paper. So I think for this one, I'm going to just try that. I'm going to go ahead and score it there and fold it. So just looking at what we need to do there, if I, where I made my mark, that is right at the edge of this fold. But we need to leave um, like a half an inch in so we can put a pole ribbon. So from this, I'm going to measure a half an inch in. So this is where I want to score it a half an inch in from there. So when I put it in my scoreboard, I am essentially at one, what am I, one and one quarter. Oops, no, I'm at one and three quarters. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. That's where you would either cut it or fold it over. Fold it over there, and now you have this little pocket on this side, if you like. If you don't want that, you can just, just trim that off right there. But if you want a little side pocket, you can go ahead and put that down. And then you would just glue the edges in. I didn't do this on my other one, I just cut it. Okay, let's see what if we've done everything. Um, I think we've added all the elements. So here you can see I have that half inch, that half inch space, because here's my half inch um, little area right here. This is the score line, half an inch, so that butts up right to the half inch, so that's good. And then we're going to put a pull tab here. So how many pull ribbons do we need for this one? We have one on the outer flap here, we have one on this flap, and then we have one on the inner flap. So three. So we're going to put one here. And of course, can I remember? Yes, it's on the top. So this one is on the top. So I have a bunch of my ribbons that I always keep glued and I put my little clamps on them so they'll dry. So I always have a stash of them when I start a project so I can just pull from them. So I'm gonna pull these. So we're going to put one here. And let's just see, the other one is going to be on this flap and I want it to be um, above my pocket. Do I want it above the pocket or right there? Let me see how I did it. The way I did it on this one is I have it right above my pocket. That way it doesn't interfere with this. That's what I did. Okay. So this is going to be right here. This one's going to be staggered up here. So that's where I'm going to put them. I'm just going to use scotch tape this time. 
you guys use glue and some strong construction tape or score tape to hold down these ribbons. But I'm just using these. This is where I want this one. So we've got those two ribbons, and then we're going to have a ribbon right here. And did I put that on the inside or outside? I put it on the top. I put it on the top, but you can put it on the bottom, but the top is probably better on the top it's going to be sitting in that half inch little space there you do not want it butting up um, against this so we're going to put it right there remember glue and score tape for your ribbons glue them down and score tape our construction tape so we got this one this one this one so this one goes on the inside, pull that, got this, got this. What else do we need? I think we got it. Got this one, got this one, got this one, got our envelope in, and we are done with construction just need to do the decoration. So the last thing we need to do before we start adding our decorative paper is put in magnets. So we're going to start, um, here's, here's, here's the folio. We have this flap and this flap, and that's where the magnets are. So this left outer flap I can open this up. The mag I just put the magnets in. Oops. This one didn't stay. It's supposed to be over here. So you have two magnets, two sets of magnets. You have a magnet up here, a magnet here, and then the counterpart is transferred over to this sheet. And this one needs to stay here. So basically at least a half an inch down, half an inch in, half an inch, half an inch up, half an inch in. So that's that set of magnets. Then this one, we have two sets of magnets on this flap, and it's going to be transferred over to this right, this this right flap that has the pocket. Now with this one, you want to make sure that with the edge of your pocket, because the paper is going to be ending right here. You want to make sure this is at least a half an inch in from this edge. So just measure up from your pocket and make sure this is at least a half an inch in because you're going to be putting your designer paper over here. So those are the magnets and now we're ready to start with our designer paper. So now we're going to start with adding our decorative paper. So you're going to go all the way to the back, this back pocket. Remember we haven't affixed it into the folio yet, so we're going to do the back pocket. So let's look at the back pocket. So this back pocket, what I used was, this is from the 12 by 12, this is this sheet, and I cut it like this. So I will just hold it up to you so you can see how I cut it. I basically used this tree, this limb of this tree branch for a guide to cut it. So you can just look at that. I put the the yellow solid behind it. Don't really need to do that. I use the whole yellow sheet just to put it behind it because I want it to, I don't know why I did that. You don't really have to, but that's what I did. Make sure you include 
these love blocks down here. So if you want to use that as a reference, and then you can extend this all the way and cover this and cover this whole pocket if you don't want to use the solid yellow. And of course, I inked it with my alcohol marker to get the pink out. There was not a lot of pink in here, but I just took the pink out anywhere I saw it. So that is the back. And you go ahead and notch. If you use the envelope punch, you know, you need to do your notches figure it out or just trace trace the trace this over the paper and then hand cut it out if it's just too much of a hassle figuring out how how far you need to go in so that was the back panel and then to the side of it this flap is just the 12 by 12 green stripe 12 by 12 green stripe. Here's my envelope. And then this flap on this side that we created that little pocket here. Over the little pocket, you'll put, if you did make a pocket, the 12 by 12 green stripe. And this is the brown dotted paper. It doesn't matter if you use the 12 by 12 dotted paper are the eight by eight. The eight by eight will fit in here because this is mm, this isn't even seven and a half inches. So the the eight by eight will fit on this flap. We already got our ribbon in, so this is all done. If you close this one, this top flap, we are using is from the eight by eight. It is this paper, the, the small brown dotted paper is on the back side. Obviously I used the alcohol marker to knock out all the pink in this one and it comes out like this. So a pretty, I mean, it's, it's, it's different. It looks gender neutral. This is pink, more gender neutral. So this paper is just going all the way to the top. And it's having a little bit of reveal between this side of the flap and the pocket. Got that? Now, with the pocket, I used the dotted paper, the brown dotted paper. This is the 12 by 12, but Whatever you have, if you have eight by eight or 12 by 12, it really doesn't matter. Um, for the, the bottom of the pocket, I used, I used this paper from the eight by eight, and I covered the entire pocket with this, this paper. And on the top, I used this strip from the 12 by 12. So 12 by 12, I just cut out the stars that were in here. Just cut out where it's the, the yellow. So, and I just put this on top of the, of the pocket, left a little bit of reveal right there. So you can see how that is. Here's the, here's the, the green paper from the eight by eight, and then just this little strip here with a little bit of the green revealed up here. And then this is from the, the Winnie the Pooh um, collection we had. And on the sides, I put, where we have this half inch space, I put the green stripe paper going in this direction. So it's the 12 by 12 green stripe paper going in this direction instead of up and down. Doesn't really matter, I just put it in that direction. So we got this page done. I also, I want it to highlight this pole because it just seemed like it got kind of lost in all of this. So I put a little half circle here, inked it, and put it right next to 
the ribbon pole so it's easier to see. So the recipient will know, oh, I need to pull that. So a little half notch solid green there. So I got that. This, so now we're on the front flap where I used the, the Martha Stewart punch. What I did here, this is using the 12 by 12 paper right here. 12 by 12 paper here. This half inch little strip here is using the baby rattles again from the 12 by 12 right here. So I just have all the bunnies lined up right here. So 12 by 12, make sure you ink it. Tap out the pink if you're doing the gender neutral. 12 by 12 baby rattles just have the, ba the, the bunnies lined up here. Make a little strip there. Then you pull this tab, open it up. Once again, you are using this paper for the inside right here. Back here, this is using this paper. And then once again, this is using, this is the flowers from the 8x8 collection right there. And again, using the alcohol marker to tap out the pink of the flowers here. And then on this side, this half inch border, once again, using the stripe paper, but the stripes going in this direction. So this little border strip, the stripe paper from the 12 by 12. So I think we got everything in here. And yes, I think we got everything. I did make a little insert for this pocket right there. This is using the eight by eight paper. Same paper as this, this is the 12 by 12. This is the eight by eight. I made this little insert. This is two and about basically two and seven eighths by seven inches tall. And I broke up the pattern with the, um, the eight by eight brown dotted paper. On the back side, used this paper from the eight by eight and I put twinkle twinkle little star down here. I want it to, and just arrived up here and then I used this little journaling card from um, our collection that we have at the, the shop. So that was on the back. And that just goes right in here. So now we're going to, where this is ready to be adhered into the folio. So now we're ready to attach the folio it's now complete magnets are in everything's secure it's not opening up so you're going to make sure you know line it you you've already dry fit it so you know it's going to close go over this easily and not interfere with the closing of the folio you're going to line this up at the bottom you can have a little bit of reveal up here so you're going to adhere that down. Make sure you put your score tape end to end on these flaps. This is where your score tape is going. Every bit of this is going to be covered in score tape. I actually put some Beacons 3-in-1 glue just to give it extra strength. I'm going to put that and secure that down. Make sure you do not get any glue on this part or else you'll close off the pocket. Don't do that. So once that is down, open this up, and then you are going to put your, cut a piece of green stripe paper. It doesn't have to be very deep because you're just going to be putting this in from one end of the pocket to the other, all the way across here. 
So it's going to look like this. Let me show you. Here is where you're putting that green striped paper inside the pocket. So that's going all the way across. And then, then you can build your, <clears throat> your little insert. Just make your, your booklets, get them to the right size that you want, the right depth. You know how to make those. The depth is going to be according to how deep this goes. There's mine. And then with mine, I put um, the, the dotted paper here from the 12 by 12 and the green star from the 12 by 12. And I put a little half circle notch here. I haven't done anything on the inside. On the back side, I use the baby rattles um, paper from the 12 by 12 and just the solid, the solid brown from the 12 by 12. This is the balloons are behind here. And I put a little ribbon back here, just like I did in the other one, because I want to be able to let your recipient know this. there's something here, it's got a ribbon, and you pull it out. So that is it for panel three.